Hey guys, it's Hi, so I'm back with my third installment of the Death Note reading series, whatever. Okay. Misa, in the end of this volume, Misa comes in. So the story is about to get seriously boring. Because Misa is the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to an anime because she, you know she's Misa Ugh, and I hate her with like every fiber of my being I don't know why I don't want to know why but I just do Ugh. Light, Amadeo, and Ryuk are going into the house and he bought his porn magazines and stuff and he walks into the house. And then and you turn the page and then you see this chick with boo with like humongous boobs on the page. And they're watching on a camera and you see his dad watching Light reading those books and it's creepy. And Ryuk is like, oh my god, look at that hot lady. So, while he's reading the book, Ryuk is looking for bugs and cameras and stuff. And Okay, so then his mom calls him down for dinner, and then Ryuk's like, okay, I'll just keep looking, and then so they're watching, L and the MPA staff that are working on the killer case are watching on the cameras, and his sister Sayu is watching this guy named Uzaki, I think, I think that's his name, Hideki, my bad. Alright, so, then they eat dinner, and then after, he takes potato chips, and coffee, and goes to his room, and, um, Ryuk is like, okay, I found all them. So then there's a map of where all the cameras, and all the and all the bugs, all the cameras are. And they're literally everywhere. Gosh. They're in his bookcase, they're on top of his bookcase, they're on his bed, they're in his bed, they're under the floorboards, they're on the ceiling, they're in the windows, they're in the air vents, they're on his desk, they're on his TV. God, are, are they trying to watch her? Or are they stalking him? Okay, so... In the potato chip bag, you see a small television and, um, part of the death note and a pencil. And, like, as he goes in to take a chip, he's writing a name down with the names that he sees on the TV and they don't expect anything. And then the next morning, he wakes up. And then he dumps his trash, and then he throws out that mini TV that costs like 40,000 yen. And then you go to the next page, and you see Ryuk eating an apple. Okay, so then he gets home from school, and he he's still doing more death note work and like he has a study book and inside the study book there is a clip of the death note and he writes names down as he sees them 
but like she's pretending like she's doing homework and everything but she's really not. And then you see Elle and he puts all this sugar in his tea because he's the sweetest little thing ever. And then you see Reese like munching away on an apple and then we go to a discussion center where Light is going to be taking his test. And then they're like, number 162, sit properly. And then Light looks over, and he sees Elle. And Elle's sitting there in his perfect stance with his feet all up on the table and stuff. And then they're, they're like, having a stare down. And, oh my god, sorry, it's so sexy. And then, so then, the ent at they're now at the entrance ceremony. And they're like, oh my gosh, why are you a college student? And Reese is like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. And then, Elle and Light go up on stage. And then, they're ta this, these two girls are talking about how Light and Elle are so hot. And Elle's on the right and Light's on the left. And this girl w that looks like Velma from Scooby-Doo is like, oh my gosh, the guy on the right is so hot. So then, Al gives his speech, and he's holding the paper like this, like you see who he is, like he's holding it like this, and then, I don't even know what that is, yeah, and let me move this so I can take my mouse on this paper and stop it, okay, and then, when they're supposed to be bowing and everything, I was just like, And then like bowing and stuff, and it's really cute. And then Elle tells him, like, he's like, Yagami Kun. When the hell did he turn into Sakura? He's Yagami Kun. Don't call him Kun, bitch. I'm just kidding. Mm. Um, he's like, I. And then he starts wobbling, and then when they get off stage, they shake hands, and they sit down, and Elle gets to this position, and says, I don't know why I'm yawning. And then so they leave. And, they, and Elle gets in this fancy-ass Japanese car, and then Light gets home. And then they're like, oh, how did it go for a freshman representative? That's Sayu. I hate Sayu. She's annoying. And then, so they go into his room, and then it's Elle, like, snap, um, light snaps, and he's like, um, Arr, they got me, they got me. Ew, damn, Elle, I've never been so humiliated in my entire life. And he's like, literally, Piss the hell off. And then he starts laughing for no apparent reason. He's like, he's, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That's right. No one, no need to be so negative. This is proof that he doesn't have any proof. So now, we'll go one to one to see who's smarter. And then he talks a bunch of shit or whatever. And he's like, and when you told me everything I need to know, I told you. So I think that from what I've just read, um, what's his face? Um, we need to check out all the bugs and stuff. So then you dig on the next chapter and you see Light and Al entering a tennis court and they're like, um, okay, so tennis match, hmm. And then Light is like, okay, yeah, so we're gonna play each other at tennis. And he's like, you know how good I am, right? And then he's like, don't worry, Light. I used to be in the British Junior Champion. I, I used to be the British Junior Champion. I lived in England for about five years. But please relax. It's absolutely impossible to figure out Elle's identity from that fact. Okay, so now he's talking about himself in third person. So then they do a game, a uh, set of six, and then they're playing, and then Elle's like, 
boom! And he's like, it's love dipping. So then they start playing, and you're like, wah, wah, wah. And then all these people start going, they're like, oh my gosh, look at these guys, they're like, awesome. So then they go back to the game, and they're like, wah, wah, wah. And they're just like hitting it back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and stuff. And they're like, puff, 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 just like they like, had sex in a bathroom, you know, like, that's not weird at all. And then... So the captains were like, oh my gosh, we need, like, we need to keep it up here in the team. And they're, and like, th they're going back and forth in their mind talking about how, like, h about the pure case and, like, how maybe if he loses, he'll crash and, like, if he doesn't get his way, like, the way he wants, like, he'll crash or something like that. And, like, he just, he's trying to figure it out as he's playing him. I'm so tired. Like, I don't even know why. <laughs> and then I was like, you beat me, you dumb thing. And then, as, like, uh, like, as they're leaving, she's like, the truth is, Yagami Queen, I suspect that you may in fact be fair. If you so, if you so want me, if you so want to ask me, knowing that, go right ahead. She's like, ha ha, me, Kira? <laughs> Girl, you've lost your mind. Oh, I'm not going to die. It's sad. Okay. So now they're at a restaurant, and I was like this. You know, I know where I got it from, because I do it all the time. This is like this. I do that all the time. Now I know where I got it from. And so they're talking about Kira and stuff, and then he's like, um, you know what, like, I, I, I'm not Kira, like, just stop asking, dude. And then, oh my god, I can't yawn. Jeez, I don't know why I keep yawning. God. I'm skipping a big part in the book because they just keep talking about the same thing over and over and over again. Light. And then, I, and then Mike gets a phone call. He's like, Light, it's your father. And he's like, Yagami Queen, it's your father. And then he's like, I had a heart attack. And he's like, Kira. <sighs> and then they go to the next class. Like, Why am I yawning again? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. So now I keep yawning. So now I talk to the TV, and this fat guy is talking. And then we go to Abaraki Hospital. And. Amade, the father, is sitting in bed, and they're talking about, like, like, how the heart attack could have happened, like, overworking, or, like, Kira actually attacked him. And then when Elle, like, he actually introduces him to Elle. And why am I yawning with Elle? I'm gonna sleep tonight if I keep yawning. And then, oh my gosh, I'm like three fourths through a book and I'm only at 13 minutes. This is like a miracle. Dang it. Oh my gosh. I make an embarrassing face when I yawn, so. That's why I cover my face when I'm young, because I make a very embarrassing face. So then, they start talking about Kira again, and then he gets in his car, and then I'll get in the car and leave, and then Light walks away. And then, so, the fat guy from Sakura TV opens his package, like, like, I don't know, like, where you guys live, or whatever, but, like, there's these, the, like, vanilla envelopes, and they're, like, that really big, they're, like, the bigger ones, where you could put, like, actual, put the paper in them without, like, folding them. He opens it away. Okay, I thought I was getting one of them. 
So then he dumps out four videotapes, and then it says to Director Demigawa Soccer TV. I am Kira. The proof of that is on video one. When you've watched that and you're satisfied that I'm Kira, please broadcast video two through four on your television network in accordance to the dates and times given in the second sheet of paper and close to it. By carrying out murder m murders that were in that were announced in advance on national TV, I will prove to the world that I am Kira. At the same time, a message from Kira will be sent out to the entire world. If you do not broadcast these tapes as instructed, I will kill your company's board of directors one by one, starting with the president. And I'm guessing the president was him. Now back at the hotel. And then they turn on the TV and this guy is sitting there with the like and they play the tapes and stuff. Okay, it says the time is 5.59 p.m. You are about to see Kira's video. And then, like, Kira shows up on the screen that says, I am Kira. But this video was aired exactly at 5.59 a.m. I mean, p.m. On April 18th, it is now 5.59 and 38, 39, 40 seconds. Please switch channels to Tayo TV. The news anchor, Mr. Kazu Hiko, Hibima, the guy of a heart attack at precisely 6 p.m. And then he has a heart attack, so they go back to Buffalo TV. Mr. Hibina has consistently referred to Kira as Eva in his news reporter list and his news report. This was his punishment. But one demonstration alone does not serve as absolute truth. I will present you with another. My next target is a commentator, commentator who has also condemned me repeatedly. He is scheduled to, to arrive at the air at the same time on air as this. And then he has a heart attack. And then they go back to check the TV and he says, I trust you believe that I'm here. And they start talking about of stuff and, and whatever. And then they get in the car. And the other is there. Yeah. Okay. And then they get in the car and they go to the ho and they go to the soccer TV. Yeah, okay. But first they go to the hospital, like they show um, Yagami san at the hospital and they're watching the care broadcast. And then you go back to um, Mo Mogi, Mogi and everyone and they're like going to soccer TV. And like the door's like locked, so he pulls out his gun and he has a heart attack. Wait, did he have a heart attack or like did the bullet ricochet and hit him? Oh, I, I, I think he had a heart attack. Oh, my bad. It was Uchita. So I think one of the three officers had a thing for Uchita because he decided to go after him. So then, um, Light's mom goes after... Anyway, so then he's like arguing with Al, talking about like how he has to understand like that he needs to go and save him and he needs to take the tapes and everything and bring them back and whatever. And then he moves Al out of his position. And then he moves Al out of his position like how he always does, like with his knees down to his chest, like. I really can't do it. Um, 
I'm gonna just start shaking. Uh, I don't know why you start shaking, but you know what I did. And then we go to the hospital. And then Anna Jason is not there. So then they show him in a bus breaking into soccer TV. And he breaks into soccer TV. And then he's like, stop the broadcast immediately. Just shut up and stop it. And he's like, I am from the NPA. And then he pulls out a gun and he's like, stop the fucking video. And give me the tape. Oh my god. I seriously. There's a punch from the face. I don't know why he keeps yelling. Then so police get there and they're like all lined up and whatever. And they're like, okay, you need to stop the video or you will be forced to take action. So, and then they go to the next day. And then they watch the videos and they listen to it and whatever. And then they go back to light. And they're talking about the rules of the death note again. And then they're watching the terror broadcast. And then now Elle is eating cake, which is like the cutest thing ever. And then they go to Nisa. And then it says, hey you, that wasn't what I gave you that death note for. How about using it more for yourself? And she's like, I am using it for myself. And you see this lot and like this many, 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 many outfit. And like in a tank top shirt. And like it's the hoodie and most hoodie thing ever. It like has like a Peter Pan type color. And but it's like and it covers her back and everything, but there's like a black tank top connected to it. And it's the most hoodie thing ever. And then she's talking about like, oh, it's great to support Kira and everything, and like I'm the second Kira, and like it's gonna turn out great, so don't worry. And she's talking to her Shinigami one. So yeah.